WBA World Welterweight Champion Donald Curry, but he bounced back from that fight with a pair of quick knockout wins and a 12-round decision over Kevin Howard that gave him the so-called Continental Championship. Starling's challenger today was Tommy Ayers from Cincinnati, whose unbeaten record boasts 18 knockouts in 21 fights. Tim Ryan, Gil Clancy, and Sugar Ray Leonard called the action from ringside in Las Vegas, so let's pick up the action now in round 11. You're looking at Cincinnati's Tommy Ayers, who is obviously an outstanding prospect in the welterweight division in the white trunks challenging for Marlon Starling's crown. The thing is, Tim, he's fighting Starling's fight, and he fought Starling's fight the last round, and Starling's getting a little bit the best of it, but he's in there all the time. I'd like to see him move around a little more and steer Star Starling around. Well, if you scored it right now, Gil, who would you give it to? Have right now, I have Starling ahead. Tommy Ayers is just playing what it takes fighters years to develop. I mean, the stand power, and but, he comes back strong. But again, he's right in Stalling territory when he's when he's head to head like that. He can grab Stalling and spin him. I still say he got to hit him with those nice combinations. The kid knows how to throw. Well, the mistake here is when Ayers is right directly in front of uh, Marlon Stalling and pity pad. But he still has that snap. Look at that left hook to the body. I have to go out on a limb and I have to say that I think that Tommy Ayers is the best prospect I've seen in boxing in years. With his limited experience to fight like this, he's terrific. You have my vote also, Gil. I am impressed with this man. Just the overall uh, fact that he's staying in it with a, a seasoned professional. Not only a seasoned professional, but a lot of people think the best welterweight in the world today. His only loss was a split decision to the champion. Tommy Ayers has had 20 pro fights at the age of uh, 21, pardon me, 21 fights at the age of 20. So he's been a busy young man, despite his young age, since turning pro after the Olympic trials in 1980. And obviously, he's made the most of that learning experience every time out. And he's learned a lot here today, as you've already pointed out, gentlemen. Under a minute to go in the 11th round. Starling, the champion, certainly had more than he bargained for from this young man from Cincinnati. Starling is waiting for Ayers to stand straight up so he can nail him. Because inside, Starling is here, pity pat to the body and wait for Ayers to stand upright. Yep. Ayers is trying to nail Starling He's with a right hand, which is difficult to do. He got nailed Two himself. Two good left hooks. Hey. hurt. Starling landed a pair of left hooks. He staggered the challenger Ayers now. Under 30 seconds to go in round 11. A pair of back-to-back -back left hooks doing the damage, but Ayers still on his feet. Not only still on his feet, Tim, but still dangerous. The crowd here at the showboat enjoying this action. Final seconds of the 11th round. Tommy Ayers and Marlon Starling. This is round number 12. Probably the final round. But remember, if they were tied on the cards, they'd go to round 13. The champion comes out with a fury and airs, bangs right back. The most damage done in the fight by the champion in round 11. Staggering airs, but unable to get him in the Oh, he big nailed right him with a right hand then, Tim. A big right hand by Starling, trying for the knockout here. Airs in trouble on the ropes. Another right hand. Airs refusing to go down, but he's in trouble. Tim, it wouldn't be justice for this kid to be stopped now. He's fought too good a fight. Marlon Sterling wants the knockout, though. People have doubted his punching power. He's unable to stop Kevin Howard. And here he is in the 12th against an unknown kid from Cincinnati, albeit unbeaten and obviously a prospect. Sterling wants the knockout. Sterling had airs in a lot of some serious trouble just now. Airs now is basically on instinct now, Tim. He's fighting. This kid has a lot of heart. Yes, he sure does. He has not gone down. He's been hurt in both the 11th and here in the 12th. Throwing punches with nothing on him but throwing. Now, there's no snap left in his punches now, Tim. That was his patented left hook. Starling loading up on the right hand. Having a picnic now in this kid. 
Right right corners, working the body. The Those kids, overhand rights are just starting to land by Molly Stalin. The kid should grab him, grab him, and walk around, try to get his head clear. There's that inexperience. Ayers not sure where he is right now, but he is a game guy fighting on instinct. Sterling unable to deliver the knockout punch. Well, Tim, he's won all his fights. He's probably never been in trouble before, so he has no experience at it. Keep him here. Keep him here. That's what he has to do, walk, rip, kill the clock, get through the round. Under a minute to go on the 12th round. He comes back, Jim. Is that... Can you believe those two right hands he just threw? I don't believe it. Four punches, Jim. I don't believe him. Tommy Ayers rallying. The champion, Starling, is tired. He's thrown a lot of punches. Not able to get Ayers to the canvas. Look at Ayers rally. Another big shot by the champion, Starling. Still airs on his feet. Starling missed with a left hook. Missed with a right. Final seconds of the 12th round. There will be no knockout. Tommy Ayers has won fans and friends at this display. That's it. So despite that late rally by Tommy Ayers, Marlon Starling was awarded a unanimous decision over previously unbeaten Tommy Ayers. Starling now has successfully defended his USBA-NA 